Now, WBBJ 7 Eyewitness Sports with Justin Walters. Senior year for Crockett County's Will Jones ended before it even started. The Cavaliers' leading score towards ACL and MCL during a November scrimmage, but the injury hasn't stopped him from leading his team. <laughs> It wasn't until this game on his senior night that Crockett County's Will Jones played this season. It was like no other feeling. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be as big as it was. But it was emotional for me too. The Cavaliers forward was benched before the season began after tears to his ACL and MCL. Saturday, district foes turned friends in honor of Jones, each team getting a free basket just so number 33 could play. It's, it's tough, but got to live with it. I mean, there's worse things that could have happened. That's how I look at it. Another shining moment when the sharpshooter won a three-point shootout at the Omen Arena in December on one leg. I didn't tell my doctors or nothing. They were kind of upset whenever I told them, but they were fine with it. It was, it was, all, it was a great moment. Despite his injury, Jones hasn't missed a practice or game this season. It's like a third coach over there on the bench. He's like always there for us. And he understands kind of what we want as coaches, and he's able to a lot of times relay it to the players uh, a lot of times better than, than we can. Jones says this season has been about life lessons. I'm grateful for what you're doing and don't think, don't take anything for granted. Just go 100% on everything and you never know when it's going to be taken away from you. Jones' setback is something that the team is also learning from. Coach John Stegall told me you have to learn to be resilient in life. Now to basketball. A nice gesture off the court here by Bolivar student section. Students paint to their chest and back in honor of their finance teacher, David Young, who was found dead on Monday morning. Thank you to Laramie Russell for sending that picture. A look now at final scores from the girls' hardwood. Union City defeats Humboldt 65 to 56. Westview captures the top seat in the district with a 40 to 36 win against Obion County. On the boys' end, Fayetteware pulls away from Southside 73 to 70. The loss gives Lexington the number one seat in the district. Tonight, the Big Red Tigers beat McNary Central 68 to 38. And that puts a ball on sports for tonight. Brad and Kelly, back to you.